So John Podhoritz is the son of a guy, Norman Podhoritz, I believe his name was. And Norman Podhoritz was a very conservative, uh, crazy columnist uh, who kind of went, you know, that old story. He started on the left, he moved to the far right. Um, and he kind of reached his peak in the 80s and uh, apparently he was you know, kind of humorless, sanctimonious guy, a uh, big supporter of Ronald Reagan. And he bequeathed his journalistic empire to his son, this guy, John Podhoritz, who uh, has been, uh, many people say in D.C. that he's very funny, funny on Twitter. That's mostly what he's known for. He's also a journalist and editor. Uh, and they say he's funny on Twitter. They say he's funny. In fact, if you look up John Podhoritz, I think he's named on some type of funny Twitter list. Him and Borowitz. Which is one of the funniest things. He actually might make Andy Borowitz look funny. <laughs> uh, so John Podhoritz, uh, this morning, um, he tweeted this out. Some idiot Dem congressman of Morning Joe says he's never seen anything more hateful than the Trump budget. Oh, how about the Holocaust? <laughs> now... I got to be honest with you, when I saw this, and this was brought to my attention by Matt Binder, my uh, former co-pilot on the Majority Report, so shout out to Matt. He, uh, you can, and, and yeah, go go to mine first. Oh, you don't have mine? Okay. Well, can you double click on it so it's bigger? Okay. Well, it's not on screen yet though, right? Okay, great. So I, I actually thought to myself when I saw this, I was like, I think that this is actually the first Intel. I mean, I'm not a big John Podhoritz follower, so maybe he's actually a genius. Uh, although I really doubt it. And I thought to myself, this is one of the smartest things I've ever seen this guy do. Because that is an achievable benchmark for the Republican Party. Not as bad as the Holocaust. That's doable. Strip a millions of people off of their health insurance. Not as bad as the Holocaust. Introduce new pesticides into uh, waterways and uh, cause kids brain damage. Not as bad as the Holocaust. I think that this is a pragmatic conservative. Good a, frame. Yeah, it's a good frame. Uh, and I shared that with John. I wrote, uh, and I guess we can have this up now, shrewd of at JPod Horitz to set a doable benchmark for Republican policies. Not as bad as the Holocaust. Solid work. And then he wrote, the problem with you is pretty much everything. <laughs> now... I got to admit, I have not been called one of the funniest people on Twitter, and he is playing on a very deep level here. Um, he's just escalating quickly. He's escalating you gotta go very, very as fast as possible. Very quickly. And then Binder, with, I'm sure, hyped up on Red Bull and Mountain Dew and fast food and all of the other disgusting things he puts in his mouth and his slow process of food-assisted suicide, jumps on Twitter and he goes, to be fair, at underscore Michael Brooks is not as bad as the Holocaust. <laughs> Which I thought was a very measured point. It's interesting that Matt and I, as like the young, left-wing, bearded people, are maybe being a little bit more calm than John Podhoritz. And John Podhoritz responded with, I wouldn't be too sure about that. Do we have any more? Okay, and then uh, a lot of people went after him, including one of his supporters, which I favorited, who said, John, don't let him get to you, which I thought was really sweet. John lets people get to him. Uh, is that John's jam? Because I was when I first saw this, I was like, "This has to be." He has to be joking. There's I, uh, no way he could be serious about. I this. did a tweet tweet purge about four years ago, so it didn't show up in my search. But I I remember when I was still living in Fargo, I tweeted something dumb at him, like probably during Obamacare something or decision right. or another, and he and I, I just remember him responding in a a hurt and aggrieved way. Thinking like I just sent that off in between bites of my sandwich, <laughs> and and now I've upset. John Did you Pedard. follow up with I just sent that in between bites of my sandwich, man? I was listening to Nixon tapes and I was high. I wasn't trying to hurt your feelings. He's triggerable, is what I'm saying. Yeah, he's very triggerable. Well, this is the kind of this is like an interesting intermediary zone of conservative pundits because now like everything is like you're a cock. You're a fag. You're involved in killing people at Pizzagate or whatever. Like, that's the Alex Jones alt-right thing. And now we've got this, like, weird zone of, like, 
a guy who's made it his mission in life, who, I'm sorry, has to say it, was born with literally... Now, I mean, in his case, not only everything handed to him, like his job was handed to him. He has no independent capability documented whatsoever. And his main policy mission is to make sure that other people can't get health insurance, which I'm sure he's never had to worry about in his life. But his feelings get hurt really easily. It's interesting. You know who's really funny on Twitter? Andy Borowitz. Matt Bender. Matt Bender is really funny on Twitter. I know. Yeah, Matt Bender knows what he's doing. You're calling from a four. Hey, Sam Cedar here. Uh, folks, you probably heard about the whole uh, YouTube uh, advertiser apocalypse. Well, we're suffering from it, too. We need your help. If you want to keep this show alive, you want us uh, to be able to still put out uh, clips on a regular basis, head over to our Patreon page. Here's the link right here or down below there. And uh, just give us a couple bucks a month uh, and support this program. Really appreciate it.